Michaela and I'm working in the mobile systems group in the Department of Computer Science. Um, our group is supervised by Cecilia Mascalo. Earables um, are um, wearable systems that we embed with sensors with the idea being that you wear your headphones all day anyway. So what kinds of information can we get from the user? We are mainly looking at earables for healthcare and um, we are looking to see can we kind of discover the best modality for heart rate measurements through the ear. Our research group is sponsored by Nokia Bell Labs and Bell Labs have developed a prototype called the eSense which is an earable device developed for research purposes. The eSense is a fully functioning um, headphone but it also has a six axis inertial measurement unit and it's got um, microphones so this has enabled a lot of people to get involved into research. The data that we get from the earables um, has got a lot of noise Along with the heart sounds, you also get sounds induced by the rest of the body. A lot of time and attention goes into denoising the data, looking at what combinations of filters can we use um, your, from your standard filters, like your low-pass filters and your band-pass filters, and we look at even more sophisticated things, such as can we use convolutional neural networks or denoising autoencoders. Um, once the data is denoised, then I'll, I'll use different kinds of algorithms, like maybe peak detection or maybe straight um, predictions from a convolutional neural net to take that data and, and um, convert it into a heart rate. When you block the ear canal, it actually turns the ear canal into effectively a low-pass filter. So what happens there is that you get an amplification of low-frequency sounds and an attenuation of high-frequency sounds. And this means that we can obtain a lot more information from inside the body than we previously could. For example, we can use bone conducted sounds to differentiate between walking and between running. And we can actually do step counting using sounds collected inside the ear canal. People in our group have found that you can detect what region of the face a person is tapping on just using sounds that are collected from inside the ear. We'll um, often kit out our participants with every sensor we can get our hands on from smartwatches to um, ECG chest straps to prototypes that we've developed ourselves. I think in an ideal world, what we would be seeing is that your earbuds would actually act as wearables in themselves. So you would go out for a run and you would no longer need a smartwatch because your earbuds would give you your heart rate and they'd calculate your walking distance or running distance and your cadence and all of these things that we currently get from our watches and from our chest straps. Mm -hmm.